What is up, wonderful people, guys and girls? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload a website, a HTML website, from your computer to a subdomain. And so, let me show you how quickly that would look like. First, 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 I'm wearing an awesome t-shirt. I know there are a lot of subscribers from India, and the thing is, Deep Africa loves India. I know, Africa, India, like, awesome, right? All right. Let's jump right into this. I'm going to show you how to upload a website from your computer, our HTML website that you've done, from your computer to uh, a subdomain on your machine, on, no, on your uh, hosting plan, hosting platform, yeah, so wherever you're hosted. So let me show you what I'm going to be uploading today. So just a moment, here we go. So I'm uploading this website, awesome picture of our team. We have some uh, really interesting poses right here. Ah. Yeah, pretty cool team. They are the awesomest in the world, by the way. If you don't agree, comment below and probably like send us a picture on like whatever and show us who your awesome team is. In the meantime, this remains to be the most awesome team in the world. Dispute that. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and show you how to upload this specific website. And that's the reason why I'm uploading the awesome Deep Africa team. I'm uploading that onto a subdomain. Let me show you where I'm going to upload that. I'm uploading it on um, cPanel. Now, the cPanel, I'm uploading it to. There's a subdomain that I created, and that subdomain... Uh, actually, we can create a new one right now, right? Okay. Um, totally, totally random right here. Let's go. Subdomain. Uh, how do you create a subdomain? This is going to be quick, not very in-depth, not covering a lot of things, just quick, snappy, get it done. So, awesome team. Uh, I want to create a subdomain for the awesome team. Man, I'm speaking really quickly and I'm fumbling over my words. I hope you, you guys are following. If you're not, give this video a thumbs down if you're actually not following what I'm saying. Well, any, everyone else, just give it a thumbs up. All right, the way you create a subdomain quickly is um, when you get into cPanel, go to subdomain, just type subdomain, and then click subdomains. Um, and we're going to create, like, awesome team. Awesome team. So what you want to do is just type in the name, like let's say if it's Anthony dot whatever your domain name is. So right now it's awesometeam.cf40.com. You don't need to put any like dot afterwards, just put in the subdomain name, then you create it. Um, if you're not sure of how to create a subdomain, that's fine. Go find a different video on YouTube. Um, and by the way, quick caveat, this is not the video for you if you are uploading a WordPress website to a subdomain, not the video for you. This is not going to work for you in this case. But if you want to upload a video from um, a HTML, vid uh, HTML video, mm. if you want to upload a HTML website to your subdomain, this is definitely the video for you. I think I may have taken too much coffee today. Maybe. Let's see. All right. So I've created the subdomain. Now I'll go back to cPanel. After I go back to cPanel, uh, the subdomain is already created. Um, I'll click on File Manager. Now, File Manager usually is the first thing that you find on cPanel. Then, after that, you go to uh, look for the subdomain that you created. Now, this left-hand side panel should give you a list of, list of subdomains that are, are there. Right now, we have a lot of them because we do a lot of testing on this particular domain name called CFWatu. And so, you'll find a lot of these. But you'll find my awesome team, not CFWatu.com, available there. That was kind of creepy, wasn't it? I'm sorry. I'll try to reduce the number of creepy looks uh, to the minimum. <laughs> Promise. All right. So, um, awesometeam.cfuatu.com. Um, and you, you will find that on the root. This is called the root, um, the root um, address. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, by the way, in the comments below. Um, the root uh, uh, address of your hosting uh, and so if you click on like the very top icon, it should give you the root. And with that root, uh, it's showing all the folders within that root. You can also see them down here. And so let me click on awesometeam.cf40.com. That's where I want to, and uh, don't click on the name like I did right here. You probably want to click on the folder, awesometeam.cf40.com. The other way you can probably navigate to that is just clicking on the left-hand side panel on, the, uh, on that folder itself. It will go to that particular uh, folder that you created. Now, the folder and the subdomain are linked. That The, fold, the subdomain uh, points to that particular folder that you created. And so, awesometeam.cf40.com. 
And there it is. So um, if you already had files on your subdomain and you did not, you are not you know, uploading it to, um, you're not uploading um, like a fresh, completely new subdomain website on that, then um, you, it means that you probably already have files. Uh, you already have files that you're already stored there. Now the standard way is that do not delete any of those files and do not re-upload a new site onto that subdomain without first doing a bit of cleanup. So what I would do, now this, as I, you can see, is already a domain that is completely fresh. It just has a few, a few files, as you can see. But um, the way to um, probably clean up if you already had files is you click on the first folder up there. Then you go to the last item that is there and then click on compress. For ex as an example, I'm going to do this with you. So click on zip file, zip, zip archive, then compress. And it compresses all of that into one zip file which is well known it selects the very first item that was uh, there so you will be able to tell which item it is i normally like naming it like backup uh, dot zip uh, and just leaving it to sit there then after that i delete everything else i know some of you may probably disagree with this method but this for me is a way to avoid errors delete everything that was in that uh, in that in, in um, within that folder and just have it plain before you upload now the next step is where the awesomeness happens where you upload so you click on upload and it sends you to a whole different folder now i already have my files open so let me go and get that for you um let me get that file so um the thing you need to have is that you need to make sure that you have already zipped uh, you've already zipped the files that you you are going to upload if you have not zipped them then it's going to be difficult to upload because you can't upload a folder onto this onto this um this panel you can't upload a folder in there so you need to be able to upload something as as one file um and so make sure that you're uploading it as a zip file all your all your website files all that whole thing like zip it into one into one folder um that um, you can be able to upload now i'm going to drop that onto my window and you can see uploads.zip is has been uploaded you have to wait for the green bar for, for the bar to go all the way blue then turn green for you to close this now you can close it after it's turned green and then when you come and click on reload you should find upload.zip which is what i had named my zip file is uh, is already ready so what you want to do now with this file is click on it so it's highlighted and then you click on extract <laughs> okay i promise that will be probably the last like weird thing i say extract yeah that's the last i think in this video um so extract um and once you extract it you will notice that all the website files that you had created are within there so i had an index file I had an images file, I had an assets file, and that is now there. Now, lo and behold, if you go to awesome team, let's just open a new window, a uh, new tab, awesometiam.cafu, cafu, watu.com. If I click on that, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Let's see, let's go, let's go. Come on, I think my, the picture that I put there hadn't been optimized. I think it's too large. Probably that's the reason why that's not loading very quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude. Really? You have to do this on live TV? Like, really? Ah. Come on. Okay. Uh, you're going to see me grunting a bit more. So I'll speed it up right here. Um, oh. Lo and behold, it uploaded. I have to. Now, one thing. Let me just mention something. Ta-da! Well, that's not the thing I wanted to mention. But ta-da! Website uploaded. Awesometeam.debafrica.com. Awesome. It's already there. Now, the one thing you need to be careful about is that you need to make sure that you optimize your images. You see mine took like forever to upload. That's probably because it's like a gajillion uh, MBs large. And so make sure that you have optimized your images before uploading them here. A good place to optimize your images would be, now this is totally random. But if you're done like learning, you can now exit by now. I'm just going to continue rambling for a few minutes. So the way that you optimize your images is, um, one of the ways that I really like is 
tinyjpg tinyjpg.com tinyjpg.com is an awesome place to like uh, compress images and it does so in something called a lossless style now again when you're uploading your websites uh, you'll not get the chance to optimize them once you've already uploaded them on, on, on cPanel. So you need to do this ahead of time. Something I obviously didn't do, but that's something you'd probably want to do. Okay, now, to, not to make this video too long, I think I'm going to end it right here. Like if you liked it. Hate if you didn't. Mm -hmm. And if probably you're just meh, you can probably just write a comment meh at the end of that. Let's see uh, how many mehs we see. Uh -huh. Okay, now that's the last weird thing I say. All right, see you in the next video. I hope that was helpful. I hope you probably found a laugh from it. Oh, if you found that a bit cringy, I'm sorry. All right, bye. This is me trying to look for the end button. Found it.